Rutherford Issues with Brian Barrett on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna. Listen and watch at WGNSRadio.com. Rutherford Issues is powered by Middle Tennessee Electric, whose charitable foundation is called Sharing Change, and it's funded by members who round up their electric bills to the nearest dollar each month, supporting hundreds of nonprofits. Discover more at sharingchange.org. Today, we're talking about one of our great local nonprofits, Read to Succeed. Jolene Rednotti is uh, in studio with us this morning. And if you knew behind the scenes what we did to get this interview on, it, it would it would be mind blowing, maybe. But uh, glad you're here. Well, thank you. I made it on two wheels, but I'm here. <laughs> well. Uh, scheduling faux pas on my part uh, but glad you could be with us here this morning to talk about um, read to succeed and you've got a big event coming up but i do want to give you the opportunity to talk about what uh, read to succeed is what you do here in our community first thanks brian uh, read to succeed is a nonprofit that promotes literacy for adults and children for free throughout the community uh, we do that via with programs and events um, we work with school systems, we do pre-K, elementary schools, we have culturally relevant high school book clubs, and then on the adult side, we tutor adults, we help um, them, get, them get their high set or whatever their literacy goal is. It may just be they need help with math for their job. Um, we also have English as second language classes for adults, citizenship um, classes, and we also do conversation hour. So we help ages three to 99, our goal is to have a more literate, society and we want to make sure that there are books in the hands hearts and minds of the children and adults of of our community it's amazing work that you do and i know read to succeed has definitely grown over the years and the population of those where english is maybe a second language has certainly exploded here in our area hasn't it it has in fact um our esl classes which start in the fall it's like a school year and we have to close registration and we still have a waiting list of like 150. if wow. we had more volunteers we would be able to serve everyone. So we're always looking for volunteers that want to help make that difference and help change a family's trajectory through literacy. I mean, because if you can't communicate within your community, you're struggling. Um, so our goal is to um, continue to do that and help those uh, folks that are coming to our community uh, to learn to speak and read and you know communicate in English. Mm -hmm. I, I was uh, talking with, um, there was conversation on the air one day about um, Smyrna High School, for instance, and 64% of their student body is, you know, uh, English as a second language. And so, um, I mean, that's just mind boggling to know. And so um, the work that you are doing here in our community is, is vitally important. And volunteers, that's one thing. Also, funding is, is another. And you have to do some fundraising yes. with that, right? Yes. And, you know, Brian, we want to focus on programming all year long because how how do we help those folks if we don't focus on programming so with that being said we write grants we rely on community donations and our one fundraiser of the year why one fundraiser because you know we could probably get more funds throughout the year but if we're focusing on fundraising on that fundraiser we're not focusing on programming mm. and so we want to focus and just have that one and done so we can make sure that we're working with the families and making a difference in their lives well so if you want to make a difference and help read to succeed this is an awesome way and a fun way to do that uh coming up is the 18th annual uh spelling bee right yes it's our 18th annual celebrity spelling bee um so excited it's it is it's one of my favorite things that we do yes it's a fundraiser but i just love showing how much fun literacy is and it's the brave folks that stand up in front of yeah. a big crowd to do it <laughs> uh make it fun well i uh, i have have done that years ago and it, it is a little nerve-wracking but my goal was not to be the first out <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I succeeded in that. We, we, we got through a couple of rounds, so uh, that's always fun. But, um, you know, the Celebrity Bee is, I mean, that event itself has grown and changed over the years. How many years have you been at Read to Succeed now? Um, I am celebrating 
the week of the the week after the bee. This is my seventh year. Wow. So I, um, when I was being announced as the ED, I actually helped work that very first bee. So this is my eighth bee. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. How about that? So um, you've been at almost half when we get to 20, I guess, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so, uh, and this event has been at different places, but this year, uh, and maybe you've been there before too at the yeah. view at the fountains. No, this is our first is time it? at I the view so. at, at fountains and I'm excited. Um, they're a wonderful group to work with. Um, Kate, Kate is the best person to work with. And I think that's going to be a perfect venue. It's you know, we've been uh, all over the one side of the county to the other side of the county and all over. So this is centralized. So this will be perfect for families, folks coming in um, to, to spell. So they're not having to, you know, you know how crazy it is yeah. getting across our town. So, yes. So, you know, a lot of times I think people who have not been to an event before, sometimes maybe they're a little apprehensive because they don't know how it goes, you know, and, the, you know, it's what time do I need to be there? What do I, you know, and what's the dress and all this kind of thing that you might think about um, and might keep you away from participating in an event. So kind of give us an overview of what people should expect if they come to the bee. So tickets are on sale now. They can go to our website, www.readtosucceed.org. Um, they can sponsor a speller um, and, and donate to where they're, personal goals of raising, helping raise, us raise money. They can buy their tickets, they can buy a table. And so for $75, they get a wonderful meal and we're partnering with a nonprofit to help them. It is called um, The Sweet Addiction. It's a nonprofit here that helps women that have had life, been addicted, uh, spousal abuse or abuse and they're making a difference in their life and so now they sweet addiction has been uh, they make wonderful food so that's who's doing our food this year um, and uh, we're we're going to have some adult beverages and that's all included in the price of your $75 ticket and then that good old-fashioned celebrity speller uh, getting to watch a good old-fashioned spelling bee so doors open at 5 30 um, I wouldn't come in shorts and a t-shirt, especially November 8th, but um, you know, you can dress however you feel uh, you would like to dress for that night. A lot of people like to get a little bit dressed up and then some people might just do like business casual or, or what have you, but come comfortable because literacy is comfortable and it's fun. So just come and expect um, good food, um, good drinks, fellowship, and then at 6.30 is when the program starts. We'll talk a little bit about what we do. And this event, Brian, is also in honor of a former employee and volunteer, Carolyn Kubiski, who passed away with pancreatic cancer this year. Um, she did a lot for our adult literacy uh, program. She was the coordinator for the program. And so we wanna honor her and what she did for literacy in our community. Um, so um, that this night, we'll talk a little bit about what we do. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how Carolyn impacted folks in our community. And then we have 11 brave spellers that'll get up <laughs> and they will spell their hearts out. And we use the Scripps list. So the Scripps Spelling Bee list, we purchased it from Scripps years ago. And um, we have pronouncer Martha, Reverend Martha Touchton is our pronouncer. And we have four great judges, Michael Lynn White, uh, Meredith Thomas, Francella Salas, and then Matthew Joseph. So um, except for Fran, they've the other three were all Celebrity Beast of winners. So really? Yes. Well, how about that? Yes. So you've got um, uh, a star-studded judging panel as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> and they've been there and they understand it. And because uh, it is daunting to stand in front of 250 people spelling, especially when your cell phone and your emails do it for you most of the I time. Know. Yes. <laughs> that makes it tough. Yes. You've got that autocorrect that helps you out with uh, with even some of the simplest words. For some reason, the word convenience, I, I, I misspell all the time. It's it's kind of a weird how it's put together, but that's just me. I mean, I'm sure everybody has one of those words. We do. We <laughs> asked all the spellers to give us their words, and um, mine is liaison. I mean, I uh, know how to spell it, but yeah. just in my head, I don't want to use that second I. And <laughs> 
It so. just happens. Well, tell us about uh, some of the uh, celebrity spellers. And again, you, you mentioned tickets. Are, uh, you can get to that from the website, right? Yes, you read can to get to that. Org. Uh, read to succeed.org. Purchase your tickets, table, or sponsor a speller if you can't be there. And the night of, uh, we're going to be showing it all week but we're doing an online auction this year and oh, we good. have some great auction items a stay at a uh, resort in utah so for those skiers you know a cabin preds tickets titans tickets leather for literacy bags filled with items so um, those online auction items will be posted on our website but that auction will start the week of the b so we're excited about that but I have some great spellers this Brave year. Brave souls. We do. Yes. <laughs> um, Jamie Averwater, um, she's a city councilwoman and um, owner of um, a wonderful high water title. Um, doc- Dr. David Beard. Um, so if a lawyer and a surgeon can't outspell you, you're in trouble. <laughs> um, uh, Derek Blake from the Smyrna YMCA, Connie Kasha from MTSU College of Ed, uh, Veronica Clark. She is a, a cable member, Rutherford cable member, but she's also an APEX coordinator for the UT. Um, we have Dr. Uh, Tamika, or so, sorry, Tashika Fer- Ferguson, and she is the principal at Smyrna Middle. Uh, Darren Gore, city, you know, our wonderful city manager. Uh, Hans Mail Branch with MTSU Athletics, uh, Mike Panassi with uh, Vice President of um, Redstone Federal Credit Union, LaDonna Parham, uh, Executive Director with um, it's a ACBL Education Foundation. Who knew that there was a nonprofit that um, supported Bridge, the, the card game Bridge? Oh, wow. Yes. Um, and then Kathy Presnell, and she is literacy coordinator with Murfreesboro City Schools. So we have some great folks that are doing great things in our community. And to me, they might not be celebrities on TV. Well, you know, they may be on TV on occasion for what they do, but sure. they're making, you know, a difference in our community. To me, that's what celebrities are. All the nonprofit folks are celebrities, but I can't ask them to spell and raise money for my nonprofit. But sure. Yes. I understand. Jolene Radnati joining us here this morning with Read to Succeed. So how much pressure has to be on the literacy coordinator for the school system, for the director of the education department at MTSU? I mean, wow. And then you've got lawyers and doctors. Uh, I mean, this is a in terms of a star-studded B cast, I guess. <laughs> uh, they, and they're all great. Um, they're, they're going to have fun with it. And because literacy is fun, Brian. So I'm excited that they are being brave and helping us and um, sharing what we do. So this is this B is not only about us raising funds. It's about getting the awareness out there about what we do. Because you might have a sister or a brother that is struggling with literacy. And we can help them. So the more that folks know in our community about what Read to Succeed does and um, or they may want to tutor. But the more that folks learn about what we are about, the more that we can help folks in our community. So funding, volunteerism, we're a one stop shop if you can do any of those things. So uh, we know times are hard. So we ask people if they can give, give what they can, um, because we are putting those books in their hands and we are making a difference through literacy in our community. Well, uh, once again, the, um, well, you give us the details about the 18th annual Celebrity Bee and where we can get tickets and times and all of that. The Celebrity Spelling Bee is on Friday, November 8th. First time we've ever been on a Friday. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Tickets are $75. You can go to our website, www.readtosucceed.org, and purchase whatever you need. Um, doors open at 530. Event starts at 630. Um, it, it will be a great night. I promise you'll have a lot of fun and get to meet a lot of new folks. So, um, again, readtosucceed.org, and we'll put a link in the podcast as well to um, read a succeed website and also where you can get the uh the tickets for the event 18 years it's it's unbelievable it is it, it's and it's really exciting and um you know we couldn't do it without our community support and we have a lot of wonderful sponsors that have helped us put this together so um atmos uh, energy nissan 
Middle Tennessee Electric. Uh, so the folks are making a difference in our community and they see that what we're doing is making a difference. So we're grateful to be able to do 18 and I look forward to the 19 and 20 and 21 as long as I, uh, I'm still around. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get you in those double digits yes. in terms of the years uh, yes. spent doing that. Jolene Rednotti, our guest today. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you and WGNS. Absolutely. And uh, if you missed any part of the program, the podcast will be up shortly. Check it out at WGNSRadio.com.